So I've experimented with a lot of these guitar flamethrowers. But where did it all begin? Mark one, the Mark I can shoot a six foot flame easily. And the system's small and easy to switch between a bunch of different guitars. If you're shooting big flames with it though, the fuel's probably only gonna last you 40 seconds. So it needed an upgrade. Mark two, double barrel. This system has more fuel and more fire. Mark three, triple tank. For the Mark III, I switched to just one barrel. Now I have three tanks that can be worn really discreetly behind my back. It's totally safe, I think. This system shot large flames, but it was the first system that colored the flames really well. Then I decided that I need to go even bigger, so I created this burster system. This system can fire bursts about 18 feet long, and it really easily accepts colors. It takes a few seconds to charge between bursts, but it's pretty sweet. Mark 5 and the kitchen sink. Then I decided to hell with it. Let's just combine all of these things and slap them on my guitar made out of Legos. It turns out that making a Guitar Hero controller into an actual playable instrument is pretty easy. So I gave it a go and slapped a flamethrower on it. So that pretty much does it for my first round of these guitar flamethrowers, but I've got a lot more in mind, and I'm already waiting on the parts for the Mark 11. If you're into this stuff, you can subscribe below. Leave me a comment if you got any good ideas for things you want to see flamethrowers on. Until next time, tap or light. <laughs>